I received this from Amazon two, three, four weeks ago, but I had uh, pneumonia, so I've only started playing with it a couple days ago. Uh, it's got two USB 3 ports on the rear, gigabit LAN, two HDMI ports so you can use two monitors. I believe that is a Kensington lock, and it's a 12-volt DC, and there's the ventilation hose. Now, this is active cooling, so that means that it does have a fan inside there. You got more ventilations here. Two more USB 3 ports here, and a headphone set here, and there's a power button. And more ventilation, and a micro USB port. Now, you don't ever see that on these little micro PCs. Now, here's the back of it. It's got two uh, places to uh, uh, connect the uh, bracket to so that you can uh, mount it to your TV or mount it to the wall. Today's trend is to have an all-in-one PC that has a computer and monitor all in one device. That's what this does. It allows you to mount it right to the back of the computer. And uh, you come with a little, uh, little US, excuse me, HDMI cable to go from here to the port on your uh, monitor or TV. So that's what you got there. And here's the bottom of it. And here's the top of it, B-Link, and it's got an Intel inside. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you the box and what's on that. Okay, now this one, it's a Intel Gemini Lake Celeron. Okay, excuse me, that's not the Celeron. This one is a Gemini Lake Pentium J5005, and it's HD Graphics 606. Now this particular box has the 8 gigabit RAM and 256 SSD storage on it. So that one, and it's got uh, Wi-Fi, IEEE, 802.11a, BGNAC, and 2.4G uh, and 5.8G. So it's got that covered. The LAN is a gigabit LAN, Bluetooth uh, 4.1, I believe it is, uh, power button, four USB 3 ports, Okay, I don't need to read all that. But anyway, yeah, the power adapter is um, uh, 12 volt at 2 amps. So I'll show you that. And this is for the American. And again, this is, uh, if I can read it, it's 12 volt at 2,000 milliamp, which is 2 amps. So that is what comes in the box. So. So if you've got 24 times 2, uh, that's 48 watts total capability. It also comes with a user manual. And it shows that English user manual is from page 1 through 3. Okay, that is the American user manual right here. And that's all there is to it. Intel Mini PC user help. And if you have any of these issues, you contact nextdeongeek at gmail.com. So you've got that. And then again, uh, B-Link always puts this into the box, so whether you're satisfied or whether you're not satisfied with it. So that comes in the box. So, all right, we'll go ahead and run it and test it out. The more I use this little mini computer, the more impressed I am. Now, this one is a manufacturer B-Link. The model is Gemini X. I received this from Amazon about two or three, four weeks ago. But I had pneumonia, so I was not able to even use it. But I've been playing with it for a few days now to see how it works. And uh, I am very impressed. So it's an Intel Pentium Silver J5005 CPU at 1.5 gigahertz. It comes with 8 gigabyte of storage, 64-bit operating system. And it is an activated Windows 10 Home. So that's that one. 
This one I want to show you that is it contains 256 gigabyte of SSD solid state hard drive on this box. So it's got a lot of storage. Now this box is very versatile. It obviously it, it is a computer, so there's LibreOffice. Uh, same thing as Microsoft Office. Also, it plays games, not the current games, which you need a two or three thousand dollar computer, uh, but it does play a lot of the older games and the some that's uh, created just for these low powered boxes. But I'll get into that later. But the main thing about this. <clears throat> This is an outstanding media player box. In other words, it's a home theater that you attach. Now, a lot of people in the old days, they'd use a great big old $10,000 computer. I mean, they, it was huge. They sat next to the TV and they had all their uh, uh, media on it. But this one is a little tiny computer that you can uh, hide on the back of your TV or wherever you want. But uh, it plays MB Theater, Cody. And again, this plays in uh, HEVC, which is 4K. Even my desktop computer will not play HEVC uh, encoded videos, which is the 4K. This does, and this plays at 60 frames per second also. So again, this will play at 4K, 60 frames per second, because it's got a H. It's actually got two HDMI ports, and they're uh, HDMI 2.0 or 2.1, whatever it is. But anyway, it gives you 4K at 60 frames per second. But I'll get into that later. So that's what I wanted to show you there. It is a media player. It's a regular computer, and I'll go into that in just a minute. Okay, now this one is LibreOffice, and I just took a sample of a spreadsheet and a Word document. So this takes all the, uh, actually any format that's out there, Word, WordPerfect, etc., so anyway, this is what this one looks like. Okay, now that's a Word document. Here's a spreadsheet document. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little sample of that. So uh, that's what that does. Now this is to show what uh, audio codex this plays. DTS Audio, Dolby Digital Plus, DTS HD, Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital, Atmos, Atmos. So it plays all of those high definition audio codecs. And I'll show you that later. Now I'm going to show you some video codecs. Now this one is a, a demo of the HEVC, which is 4K, Dolby Digital. Again, it's part two HEVC, H265 codec, which is 4K, video resolution. Statistics, none lost, and my AVR shows DD+, plus. so that is playing perfectly. So that's 4K from this little bitty microcomputer, which is just fantastic. Now this one is a VC1, but it's got a high definition audio, so let's see what that one is. Okay, now my AVR shows DTS-HD high resolution. So that's what my AVR says. Again, VC1 is only 1080p. Statistics. Okay, playing perfectly. So VC1 on this plays perfectly. As far as a home theater PC, now this is using the MB Theater app. Now normally I would use a different remote, 
not my mouse, but this is just a temporary show and tell. So that's what that looks like. But again, I would be using a different type of uh, controller, not a mouse. So I just wanted to give you a, a sample of what that looks like. Live TV, that's what's on now, this is what's coming up. Anyway, this is what that looks like. Again, this is MB Theater, so I just want to show you that one. Okay, now we're going to open up Kodi. Now here, I use my own version of Kodi. I use the MB skin. Now this is a treat that just popped up today. It's a little Halloween treat. But I'll show you that what all we can do. Now, a lot of people want to use these little micro computers not only as a home theater to watch all their movies, Netflix, YouTube. And by the way, uh, YouTube plays in 4K, but I believe Netflix is only 1080p, which is HD. So, but anyway, they like to play games on it. So this one plays uh, a lot of the games on here, okay? But uh, most of these will play. I'm not a gamer, but I had someone test them out and they do play. Uh, now what does not play is the modern games that you normally play on the Xbox or PS3 that plays on computers, but those you gotta have a very expensive, powerful computer to play those. So this plays pretty much the casual games. So. One that I do play, I will show you that. Now, since I'm an old fart, the last time I played games was on my computer probably about 15 or 20 years ago. One of my favorite ones was Outlaws, uh, LucasArts. But anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and crank that one up and show you. This is Outlaws. This was a game that was very popular 15 or 20 years ago. It was a very simple little game and uh, back 15 or 20 years ago, I did use a powerful PC to play it. But I guess even today, there's a lot of, uh, or there are some groups, forum groups that uh, still uh, play this game. Again, I haven't played it in about 15 years. So, and some of my other computers would not even run this game. So I think it was made for the. Uh, uh, when it was 98, maybe? I've had so many, I forget. So anyway, it's a, it's a fun playing game. It's strictly a shoot 'em up whatever. But anyway, I'll probably make another video just on this little gameplay, because it's uh, very enjoyable. But again, this micro PC, is, for the size, it is very powerful, but it's not a, a two or $3,000 computer that plays the modern day games. But for a casual gamer, it works perfectly. So that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.